think you can you can see what i mean by we're going to give people this introductory portion to to state interests or concerns and maybe have a little bit of a of a soapbox okay about concerns and that's not meant in any sort of a negative way but this is for you've heard gene you've heard ken this is a time for them to talk about that and of course you know if you want to react you like it you don't like it whatever that's fine but when we get to the discussion okay on the issues then i think let's just try to have that uh discussion you know what i mean okay richard thank you very much i'm a resident of laguna niguel but i've also been involved in nuclear energy since 1963 i have worked in literally every facet of nuclear energy that there is i don't work and never have worked for southern california edison nor southern cal nor san diego gas and electric um i don't know everything about the plant at san onofre but i know an awful lot about pressurized water reactors i also know a lot about welding i know a lot about materials i know a lot about operations and in fact uh, my first refueling was in 1964 up at the national reactor testing station in idaho so um along the way i've been involved down in the trenches with the plants same place that the workers go to in san onofre every single day and those workers wouldn't go there every single day if it was the place to work at that some people would like to characterize it as I'm old enough to remember the Atomic Energy Commission that later on became the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And uh, both organizations have done a good job over the years. Um, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is an interesting organization. But the bottom line is, between the Atomic Energy Commission and the, and the uh, United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the United States has the safest record in the world for commercial nuclear power, <laughs> bar none. <laughs> the, uh, along the way, I uh, escaped nuclear power, I thought, for a little while. And I was living in Hong Kong when I got a call from the State Department. And they asked me, if we ask you, would you represent the United States at the International Atomic Energy Agency? I thought it was a joke. <clears throat> it got to be a serious undertaking, so I took the job. I was the United States representative at the International Atomic Energy Agency as part of a six-nation board for four years. Six-nation board was convened as a result of Chernobyl. Actually, it was as a result of the Soviets going to Hans Blix, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, and saying, our people don't trust us, we need help, and we need to truly understand what nuclear power is all about, and what is safe and what is not safe in the way of practices, etc. Um, our work was entitled, it was three subjects in one. The work was entitled Nuclear Fuel Cycle Facilities, comma, the environment and public opinion and for four years we spent delving into all of those we asked people like the department of energy we asked people like the nuclear regulatory commission we asked companies we asked governments to provide us information we asked a lot of the media to provide us information we invited a lot of the media over to talk to us uh, at, the edit, at the editor level to find out what drives these articles that come out that um, are not um, accurate, that mislead the public. So I did that for four years. <clears throat> I'm involved in nuclear power today and that I have a group of people that I work with and we're all older and we supply uh, reviews of nuclear power plant designs <clears throat> prior to them being submitted. <clears throat> to the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission or other commissions around the world. Since about three hours after the uh, tidal wave hit Fukushima, I've been involved in Japan. So I come at this as a resident of Laguna Niguel. 
as a concerned citizen for when are we going to get our electricity back the delays are hurting the economy of california i have not lost any faith in the nuclear regulatory commission i have lost not lost any faith in southern california edison and especially the people it's songs themselves we need to get this power plant back online as quickly as we can it's a technical issue we know how to solve technical issues we need to get the new steam generators over here and get them installed so we can enjoy many more years of a secure and stable nuclear power plant providing this electricity that serves directly people in 14 counties but it serves more than that because it's part of the western grid and it serves the entire west it's part of the entire western grid as they will electricity around and we need that electricity why do i know we need that electricity when i came to san diego for my first staff job in sandy in the navy in 1971 i was given a seven seven a seven set a seven volume set of hearings called electricity problem electricity production problems in the north in the southwest and i have followed them ever since then prior to san onofre being shut down a few months ago we had to import 24 percent of our electricity from other states at a high cost and at a high loss because transporting them over those transmission lines causes us to lose electricity therefore what happens is we wind up putting more emissions out into the atmosphere that we don't need to do if we had taken a responsible position in the state of california all these years so from my viewpoint it's simple it's a technical problem the people that are involved know how to fix it we need to get on with fixing it and get our electricity back thank you very much We're going to go to Grace.